Hello. Hello. <laughs> we're both in a really good mood because we're in like this gorgeous hotel in London called Nick's Hotel. N Y X. It's in Holborn. They have gone above and beyond for us. We've got snacks. We've got drinks. We've got like they gave us that balloon thing that we popped. Go on our like, Instagram and our TikTok. We've got a smorgas smorgasbord. We have a smorgasbord. We've got nuts. These are vegetable crisps. They're actually really nice. We've got, we've got chocolate. Corn. We've got... Um, Grace has got a cocktail. I've got wine. And we're just... This is like my dream night. It's a Thursday, but... Haven't you heard? Thursday is the new Friday. They do say that. They do. No, but they actually do say no, that about London. They no, do say no, that. No, but they do say that about London. So, we're going out. We're going out for dinner and drinks. And we just thought we would... Bring you lot along. Get ready together. You get ready together. It's been too long since we've actually gone out. We haven't seen each other in a week. That's a bit. That's long for us. That is long for us. This is my drink of choice. Passion fruit martini. Is this the one from M and S? I think it is. That is four percent. It's by M and S. Four percent. Is that high or low? That's good. Are you hung over then? I thought I was gonna be sick this morning, which you know I don't get. Grace that. never is like that, so. But I wasn't actually sick, so it's fine. But I'm I just, I don't, you. I just, I'm not a big drinker. I mean, you're not either. We're not. Big no, drinkers. we're actually not. Like we both get to points in the night where we're like done, but it takes a really certain night for us to just be like really drunk. Yeah, like, in New I feel York, like we just went feral. Do you know what it was? I feel like the nights. It's the nights we don't go out for dinner, we get the drunkest. Yeah, because obviously that sobers you up. Yeah, well, I feel like we never actually... Like, I don't remember the last time I was, like, Black drunk out. to a point where, like... When do you think your last... Well, apart from last night, crazy girl. When do you mm. think your last time being, like, completely... Was I that drunk in New York? Yes. There was one night. There was one night in New York where... What was it Maison Close? Mm-hmm. I think it was Maison Close. And you stopped drinking because you felt a bit sick. I felt sick, so I just couldn't drink anymore. But I kept going as a solo. And, oh my God, was I drunk. I like, don't even really remember having to, like, mum you, though. No, you, no one, you never will have to mum me. Like, I'm very... Like, you can sort yourself out. Yeah, because I'm not the kind of... The worst I'm going to do is fall over. Oh my God. So I'm not going to, like, be chaotic. I feel like you were, like, asleep in the cab. Yeah. Like, I'm not a chaotic You weren't, like, going up to... You know, some drunk people that like, go up to people and like call cabs. Sometimes I do that, but I no, think you it's do. Funny. No, you do, but not in a way of like not making beef. You know, no, I do. It as some in, like, drunk race, you dare me to go up there and yeah, like that. you'll be like, I oh, let me do... dance with them or like something Should I start fun. A dance off. Like, that's so oh great. my god, that's so on brand. I know. Grace, dance off. But yeah, I was just you know, it's good to be a little drunk. What about you? I mean, the last time I, the last proper proper drunk I was. <laughs> Was oh, <laughs> stop it now. <laughs> was probably um, when was I really drunk? The night we wore the sparkly outfit. Oh, girl, we always no, I about... know for you. Oh, no, what is the it? last night in New York? Was I really ham. drunk? Oh, pfft. one word, ham. <laughs> for some reason, I really wanted ham. And I just because it was the nice man in Chipriani, I knew he would let us have ham, even though it was after our dessert I ordered ham. Like how weird is that? And I ate like one bit of it and then it started to make me feel sick. And so she went to toilet to be sick and I'm a vegetarian, sat there with a plate of ham. He was like like he was like, You're not gonna eat the ham? I was like And I was in the toilet no. for hours as well. And he was like, Shall I go check on her? I was like, No, no, she's fine. No, she's just doing her makeup. The ha the thought of the ham was making me feel sick. She's like, so I had to no, text her. I, was, I text her and said, Come and eat this fucking plate of ham because it's here. No, and then I was like, No, you need to get it taken away or yeah. I can't come. She messaged me, If I come back and the ham's there, that's it. Like, I will be sick. You will be sick. I was like, this But I managed to pull it, pull it together for our last night. But to be fair, New York we went that crazy. Like, we, we didn't stay out that late. No, but the thing is, we became friendly with a lot of the restaurant owners, and they ended up giving us a lot of free drink. That's why we ended up really drunk. Yeah, true. But we hardly ever preed in our apartment, like, ever. Yeah, we didn't need to preed, did we? No. And we never bought drink once, actually, apart from when the mum's bought it over. Yeah, I think we, we were never... a bit scared of going to a supermarket, because that, that we knew that would actually be really strict. And also, because we was in New York, like, we wanted to go out and drink. Like, obviously, yeah. it was really expensive, but we would rather, like, go for a drink before dinner than sit at home In Milan, drink. we preed loads, though. Like, we used to buy, like, a bottle. Because the was so cheap. Yeah, we used to buy, like, and, a And um, Paris as well, that. it was so cheap. Whereas New York, it's kind of, you might as well just go out, because it's not <clears> cheap. <throat> We're not that big drinkers, but 
do we think we're gonna like i think paris will be out like how much do you think we'll be out in paris like i don't know because we need to save money this is like the reality like it's not going to be like when we did the month in paris and we were like out let's all try the time. all these restaurants night because also guys if you get into a nightclub you have to pay um we need, to find it I need, like, we need to like really rein it in no i know oh it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard because there's so much like we want to eat in paris i feel like one dinner a week's doable mm. and, then, and then like one cafe lunch. a week mm. yeah like, it's gonna be hard and also like we don't want to spend all our money but I it's know. also like you're in paris like you're gonna want to we have rent to think about now oh my god don't even got bills to pay got kids to feed i feel like we're an adult no i literally feel like we're but it's hard because like us like our like salary is really like up in the air like we get paid different every month so it's not like we can really budget we could obviously budget yeah we do budget but like not like we don't say right this month we're gonna spend do we do that do we say this month we're only spending this no i don't, like, I don't know so. how we do it we'll just be cautious yeah just be like and also groceries as well although now i've seen new york groceries i'm like anything's gonna be cheap oh my god yeah that was like extreme, we're gonna man. we're gonna have to like cook ourselves proper dinners because in new york we just ate like bagels which is really bad like we never actually cooked proper but that's dinner. because the ingredients were so expensive that was like, all that we could... vegetables oh my god don't eat them were so expensive so like so... in paris we could actually cook proper dinners like how are you feeling about it are you like are you like sad it's a, a double-edged sword because it's like on one side i'm really excited to move and like like I'm, I'm never more excited for anything in my life than moving to Paris. I feel like I'm so ready, but then I'm, I am like, oh, once I move, like I don't live at home. You know, I, like, I need to like really enjoy, like my last time. Yeah, at it's, home. it's weird, isn't it? But it's not that deep because we who probably knows? Will realistically in five end up months' back home. time, we might end up back home. You just don't know where life can take you. No, exactly. It's like, yeah, you just don't know. And I feel like. Because I'm treating it as we're going to uni. No, in my head, yeah, I'm like, okay, we're going to be home like for a couple of weeks of the year, like probably over summer or whatever. And like, it's no different to us going uni. We're literally two hours away on a train. Yeah. That's it's not, not far. It's not actually that deep. And like, I feel like because we're not like taking our furniture out of our childhood bedroom, we haven't really deeped it. Yeah. Because it's not like we're uprooting. You know, like, say, for example, we bought a house. That's That to me would feel like, I know we are moving out, but we're not like furnishing a, mm. that's like proper that's how i always envisioned moving out to be don't you mm. like i we, always think this when you I'm when you're young a tissue oh, but nothing. let me leave you with this thought oh don't is it gonna make me want to cry no i just have a question okay go on you know like everyone had like a life plan when they were like 12 what was your how did you think oh, life was gonna uh, should i tell them yeah no i wait for you i feel like because i, I always thought i would be married by like 25 yeah when or you're maybe younger, I, wanted, I think i want you don't have any concept of time no like but then I, because my dad had me at 25 it i just think made i was like oh i want to like be married with a kid by 25 how scary that's us in four years that's so close like five years ago we were 15 like that actually i know it sounds like we were really young but we were doing that was like year 11 kind of. like it's like life goes really quick Life's a roller coaster. Just got I'm a ride. Just for the ride. When I was like 12, I thought, I think I just thought I'd like get a nice boyfriend, just like get married with a kid. I don't know what I thought I would, I always wanted to work in fashion. So I probably would have had a job in London, lived at home until I wanted to move out and get like a house or. I did always, I always wanted to like be in London though. I used to look at the girls, the ladies like in heels, in Celeso heels on the train in the morning when I was year seven and be like, I want to work in London. Like they'd be all dressed up in their suits. Mm. No, when I was younger, like when we're, we're talking like 10. Oh, when I was 10, I wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah. When I was 10, I always wanted to go to Brighton Uni. Always. Yeah. Like you could ask my granddad, you could ask my mum. You always, you said this to me actually. I used to always say, I'm going to go to Brighton University and do art. Yeah, I think because I went there all the time as a child, I was like, I'm going to go uni here. So I thought I was going to go to Brighton University for art. I wasn't even planning on doing fashion. And then, yeah, I was like, I want to be married by 22. I want to have kids by 24. That was Ew. my timeline. Imagine. I know. Actually, imagine being married next year. You'd be married next year. Oh, my God, that's awful. I know. That's that like, is just like... It wasn't... I didn't even want to work in fashion until I was like... I suppose like art's older. like kind of on the same... Yeah. Like, I always wanted to be like either a biz... Like work in like business and finance in London or work in fashion in London. Where do you want to be for 25? 
But who knows? We could actually have a baby at 25. Like Molly it May all... probably didn't think she'd have a baby at 23, and she's got one. I want to watch her birth story. I've watched half of it. It's really cute. Just... Oh, God. It's really cute. Stop that. You just seem so happy. Love that. I always say this: my life massively depends on what Grace does. Well, yeah, same. because if you have like marriage and kids, like who knows? No, but then you could. No, but like you say this, but like. I don't plan on having kids until I'm like 30. I know, but you might like find the love of your life. Yeah, but so might, so might you. Yeah, but I don't want kids. I just don't know. Like, we rely on each other so much. Like, no, but we are each other's life. My life plan, I, I say this to my mum and say this to my dad, is that I always want to, like, what's your life plan? I always say, well, I'm waiting for Grace when she has kids and marriage and then I'm moving to Hawaii or Bali. That is my life but, like, plan. But what if I never have marriage or kids? <laughs> just move when you. I don't know, because. I don't know. It just you just don't, don't want, know. Like, are we going to be we, sat here doing a get ready with me at thirty? No, but we're so young. No, no. We're so young, Grace. But you're still young at thirty. Like, if you watch Sex and City, they're like thirty-five and they're just still running like around. 40 and they get married. Yeah, no, they're still running around looking hot and going to cool bars. Like, you just don't know how your life's going to go. Honestly, like, like my mum had friends that had kids and friends that didn't. Mm. So like a couple of them are still in London, still kind of doing the same job and like still going out on the weekends at bars and stuff. Some of them got married and not had kids. Some of them, you know, moved miles away. Like some of them moved to Australia. Like people go every, like everyone's life goes in different paths. I know. It's, it's crazy. So like you might meet someone and be like, oh, I want to, you might meet an Aussie. Oh my God, don't. You either. might meet not someone from Aussies. Bali. Like you just, if you guys have watched Oh yeah. Know. <laughs> We're a bit traumatized from the Aussies. But <laughs> I feel like I could see you with an Aussie. Same. I could see, as much as I hate to say it, I Guys, could see with an Aussie. Here's a story. Here's a little story time for you. Go on. Not even about Australians, but just about the lifestyle. So when we were in Malibu, oh we God. were sat on the beach. Do you still think about this boy? Not him, <laughs> but the chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> so we were sat on the beach in Malibu, and we were sunbathing, and this surfer came over. Who, he's a professional surfer. He taught Jonah Hill to surf. I love Jonah Hill. Oh, oh an actor. Really and their chemistry no. between me I and this man. I just went silent because I was like, was, I'm gonna let these two like. Was it electric? Grace, it was like fireworks. I know. I did not fancy this man. Sparks were flying, but the chemistry was something else. Like sparks were flying, but the chemistry was electric. They just had such good banter. But I feel like I've never had that chemistry with someone. Actually, I have with the Australian. As much as I hate to say it, the only person. I think I've ever had chemistry with was the Australian. If you guys watch the po they listen to the podcast on Spotify, no, as much as I hate to say, you did it. no. <laughs> we met them on the beach. Okay, so if you've watched the podcast, you know more about this. It was just the most hysterical thing. Like we do not do beach dates because the one Grace was on a date with, his ex turned up on the beach. I mean, talk and about literally gave Grace like the dirtiest look. She was like this. We were like playing in the sea, and she was like. That's also with the snot happen if you guys. Oh yeah, the know, bogey. If you guys, he won't need to convince him. Yeah, we're looking. Yeah, at, you know what? That spark. Do you know we? what? I, I say this, everyone. I won't stop until I get that. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I literally don't care if I have to wait until I'm 27 or like, I was a really specific age, but I don't care how long I have to wait. If it's a week or if it's 10 years, I want. To, if I'm gonna get a boyfriend. The, it, it's gonna be perfect. Like I'm not gonna settle. We've, just, we've waited long enough, or we can wait another no, five literally, years. No, literally, I'm not just gonna settle and just have a boyfriend for sake of it. I will wait until I get exactly what I want. But, and it's not superficial. It's not just superficial, like looks wise. It's the personality. Mm. Like the just everything needs to be there. But I've got a question. Go on. We start hurry up my makeup a bit. No, I know. Um, have you? I've never met a couple that I think have chemistry. Maybe that's just not in front of you. Have you ever met any of our friends' boyfriends and you thought, there's chemistry right No, there. but they're not going to be like hitting it off in front of no, you. No, but it's not hitting off. It's just that spark, that like back and forth. I've never seen that. Guys, imagine if we just uploaded a boyfriend tag. <laughs> no one does them anymore. So that would be, <laughs> that would be like our inner, our inner like our inner child year old is healing. <laughs> healing our inner child by doing a boyfriend tag. No, because tag. did you not, as a 15 year old, always want to do a boyfriend tag? Yes. I, as much as we'd be like, oh no, we don't want boyfriends because like, we didn't admit it. But like, I feel like at 15, you really want a boyfriend. Yeah. 
Because like, my life today I had a boyfriend. Yeah, like this everyone... camera is driving me insane. It's like, going out of focus. I just really like wanted to do a boyfriend tag. Well, you could still do one. Well, I, mean, I don't have one. boyfriends do the tag. Oh, I just think if I, I, I ever wonder... got a boyfriend, if they watch any of our videos, they would all, like, look how disgusting I look when I'm like, like, head in. I do sometimes think, like, <laughs> no, but do you know what? What gives me hope? Because he found our YouTube mm. and he saw me do the Demi Lovato dance and he still messages me to this day. So actually, I I feel like it doesn't put people off. And like if they saw, like look at the hair. Like, One of the boys from the podcast watched his episode and wasn't put off. <laughs> I think it was boys way yeah. too much credit. <laughs> so I went on a date and he was like, I was like, yeah, so every episode is about something a boy does that wrongs us. And like, when I tell you, he looked like he shot himself. Did he? He was like, oh, really? Oh, really? I was like, yeah, so. Well, that's, a red up. that's a red flag then, if he thought, oh, shit. Like, that's well, a. Definitely. That is the whole thing of the podcast, but we haven't really done it in ages. Mm, rip. Because we've not really been going on dates and like. We have nothing to do. We actually have nothing to talk about. Like, I'm not going to lie. I've. I was a bit loud. Um, these past few months, like I, like my my headspace hasn't been good because I've not been know, knowing what I'm doing. I feel like I've been in waiting for Paris, but then, especially when we didn't have an apartment, it was such a like stressful time. Like mm. January before we booked the apartment, it was. Not it was good. not good. We were both like we had really we had sad. To go on, like mental health coffee. We, we didn't have like a routine because like I feel like we kind of were a bit naive and thought we would just get an apartment immediately. I kept thinking if someone asked me like how I've been. Go on. I said I told I said this to my sister. I was like, how I've been is if someone asks me how I am, I start crying. That's how I've been. Oh my god, <laughs> Grace. No, but have you been? That is how I've been. Have you been? Oh, did I bring what yeah, I did. Have you been like that recently? No. Since the apartment was booked. Since the apartment's booked, I'm, I'm enjoying life because I'm like, oh my god, we I've know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Most of it. Back then, oh, that was a tough time. But then I just feel like we weren't, we were just not doing Instagram, not doing YouTube. We're like, kind of depressed. Do you know what I've said to my mum so much this past like, month? Go on. No, so, like, my sister, she works in the NHS. Obviously, a really hard job. She works in, like an office. And I've said to my mum, I really wish I had an office job. I've said this as well. Like I, the amount, like my mum has just been like a therapist, basically. I was like, do you know what? Sometimes I just wish I had a normal job. Yes. Which I hope I hope I've, I've had sound ungrateful to you guys. No, I've had no routine. I've not known what I'm doing. And like we have no I've friends. I've been like, no, we, we don't see anyone. We have no like work friends. And I, all our all our friends are working, so you can't just be like, guys, should we meet up? No. So you're just at home all day on your own. No, Grace. But this is what I mean. Why did we not just meet up more? Because I was also. We know you get a bit like depressed and you don't want to see anyone. Yeah. I was depressed because I wasn't seeing anyone, but then I was also depressed I didn't want to see anyone. I was in that weird like Yeah, like I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't want to go out. I was like, like I literally this, don't want to go even out. this week I've been depressed. Like I was like nearly crying on the train here. <laughs> Sorry to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Lit literally I was nearly crying on the way here. But and I was I on the walk, I walked to the station, I was like, Grace, you need to snap out of it, like You've like we've got so, such a good life. We're so blessed. Oh. It's really hard this it's, age, I think, because you. I think you really compare yourself to your friends. And then it's like, oh, would I be happier if I had a boyfriend? Have you thought that? No. You know, we, we've not been doing great these past few months, but we're good. We're on the mend. But and I, I think, think it's like good to say bring that. I feel like a lot of people might look at our lives and be like, what have they got to complain about? Oh, they look about? so happy. They like, not be we sad. only post like I only post stories if I'm like having like a really good day or the whole reason i even so i think like this is because during new year we have a friend who has like a completely normal retail job mm. and she was just like i look at your lives and i panic and i'm like you might you have a perfect life but i'm like you yeah, but i look at your life no and but I'm like yeah you go into london every day we you look at her and we're like she's you... studying she's got friends at uni yeah. she's got this cool job so like... it just shows you that like no one's everyone, life is perfect. No, everyone has things they don't like about themselves. Everyone has things about their life they don't like. Mm. Everyone has like family drama. Like everyone has friendship drama. Like no one is happy every single day. It looks like they are, but then they're not. The amount of drama. And we like have the in fact that me and Grace both didn't know that we were both unhappy. Mm. Like the fact that we both didn't know each other was unhappy. Is so like sad because we're like literally best friends but we just didn't really tell each other no until like 
we went for this coffee and we were like well, what is going on like like, like what are we doing like we hadn't filmed for ages like we were like what like are we every doing? like three days my mum used to take to costa and i was just like crying costa and then she was like just meet grace for a coffee like and then i was like oh my god she was, she was like i bet grace is feeling the exact same as you just shows you it, it really does so uh, do you know what i didn't expect to be this honest but we're here and just like sharing things but we should try to get an honest get ready with me you just have to find like the small things in your day that you you like <laughs> yeah because not every day is going to be you're doing something fun like this i've been looking forward okay. to this all week do you know what i mean like not every day is going to be like you're doing something amazing but you've just got to find like, little things you enjoy like Mm. Get making yourself a coffee in the morning, making yourself a nice lunch, like. But it's I don't know. It's okay to have down days. And it's completely normal. Like for no reason as well. Yeah, for literally no reason. Like some days I'll just be in, and I'll literally say to my mum, "I'm in a down day." Then she gets it. She's like, "Right, I'm gonna let her be or take her out for a coffee." But like, and there's no reason that I'm upset. There's nothing that's happened that makes me upset. But you just are. I'm just in a down day. Life's not all sunshine and rainbows. And I feel like it does look like that on social media a lot. Because all we post is when we're happy and doing things in London. And and I hate when people are like, oh, like, influencers should be more real. But, like, you wouldn't want to post you crying. No. I'm not going to post a picture of me crying or, like, be like, guys, I feel really down today. Because that's just depressing. Like, if you see someone else posting that, you're just like, I don't know. All right. All right, then. But, like, I don't know. I just feel like... I also hate talking about my emotions. I, I just like, you no, know me, is, I'm, I'm quite stern, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, this is why we've both never like really, I, but then I feel like it's only this past month that I've really struggled. Same. I'm like, really weird. I've never. Maybe it's because it's, it's, it's just a, for us too, it's a un, really uncertain time because the gap year's over. It's like, what are we doing? The apartment thing was just really depressing. But I've never like had those like down days until like January and then I was like, shit. But now, now I'm, I'm in a lot better place. Yeah, I think probably because we've got the we've got a future. because I know we're going on this date. I've like planned quite a lot of stuff, so I'm in a really good mood. But I've just had a lot of down days recently. No, even like but that's okay. I think it was Saturday morning. I woke up. Right, <laughs> this is really let me funny. I woke up. I went to the gym and I was crying on the treadmill. Oh. <laughs> really, not a bit like conscious no i literally look like a weirdo in the gym like i just go to the gym and i stare into space and listen to music i don't I've quit the gym <laughs> no but there's no me. point me going it literally wasn't good for me why i fucking hate it i actually think it helps me like i think the endorphins help my mental health because today i haven't been to the gym and today i felt like mm. in during the day like obviously not now I'm with grace like she just cheers me up but like I've just felt, had all these horrible thoughts. So maybe, I, I do think the gym helps me, even though all I do is like walk really fast on a treadmill, like it just really helps me. I'm not gonna go in Paris, like we're, there's no point. We're gonna walk along the same. Yes. I'm laughing in the room. Yes. We're gonna walk everywhere because Paris is like, so, they call it a walking city. I'm just do so, they? yeah. Love that. You can walk everywhere. Like you can walk from like, it's actually quite small. Um. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to Paris because I feel like it is going to be the start of our new life. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like it's the start of something new. And I think the reason why we're quite don't want to quote, who's <laughs> don't want to quote Troy and Gabriella. No, I still want the pressure to be quite. Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like maybe that's why we've been feel, feeling like this. I don't think this, like, I did not feel like this. I just I don't think I've ever felt like this. I find that the best way to deal with it is just chat, talking to people. Do you know what I do think it is that in. we have too much time to sit around and think? Yeah. Because we're, we're not in a city where like we, you know like New York, we had a routine. Mm. We don't have a routine, we just sit around all day. Mm. And that's the truth, we're being honest, that's yeah. what we really do. Sit around all day and go for a coffee or like But then film someone else would be like, that's, we're so like blessed with our job. Like we have the best job in the world and I completely agree with that. But it just shows you that there is downs to every job. Mm. Even I talked to my sister about it. Like I made a thing of every week I'm going to go out with my sister. And I said, I, I like explained it and she was like, no wonder, like you've gone from living, like you're the best life you could ever live to not living It's, it's life, just different. It's just it's different. It's just a different, like you're gonna, cause she had the same thing when she left uni. Like it, it's just that change. Like it's, it's bound to happen. Like it just chatting to people will make you feel so much better. And like, at least it's helped us realize that is like all, all, as lovely as it is living with our parents, 
we don't feel like we're living life to the fullest when we're at home. Like for my job, I can't live at home. Like I, I need to, because there's nothing I think because we're young, there. we need to be in a city, you know? But like our lives would be so And living, living together, because we can talk yeah. to each other and like, we can think of ideas together and do plan our days. Mm. And actually me and Grace, we, we sh if we were like, one of us was a male or like we were like, like we would make such a good couple because I feel like we never argue. We we, we really get each other. All the time. But it's such a shame we're not a couple. Like we really understand each other's like things and like I don't know. We, it just works. We're always feeling the same. And it's good that we know that it works because we've like lived together for like four months of that year, didn't we? Mm. Probably more than that, actually. Probably more than that. Yeah, because like, like we add up the holidays. Yeah. So like we know, and the fact that we didn't have one like massive argument. Yeah. Kind of like. Kind of, kind of slay, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like we, I don't know, we just really get each other. Mm. And like, we like living together. So, and then also on top of that, it's our job. So it's kind of good. But yeah, just we've basically, if we're being honest, we have struggled these past few months. It's not been great mm. for us because I feel like. Hence why we have also been quite quiet on here. Yeah, like we've not really done much on YouTube. And I feel like even our videos, like they've not been the greatest because obviously we've not done much. And now we've got a date. We can actually appreciate the little things, whereas yeah. before it just felt like and like you know like stuff. Our family it felt stuck. And it mm. felt like a. It was almost like the rejection of being ignored every day by apartments. <laughs> I said this. I was like, it's so draining. This video is either going to end up on like a hate forum or people are going to appreciate the honesty. I feel like I, I think you're going to appreciate the honesty. You might watch this video and be like, that was depressing. But do you know what? We have to be honest. It's weird because I didn't think it would turn out this way. I didn't think we'd talk this get rid of me. I didn't expect I to be this on giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, oh, well, that was well, honest. Whatever. Whatever. We're going to go film a say or shot it. Thanks so much for watching this. If you've watched this whole get rid of me, thank oh, you. Thank it's been God. quite long. Yeah, but you're like, thank God that's over. Yeah. Sorry about it. depressing you guys out. You've put us in a good mood. You guys have to stay here. They have a smeg fridge that's when you know and the buffet breakfast can you guys like see our room oh we're so excited for tomorrow's buffet our breakfast. bed's over there look at this print and then our snacks it's such a cool like vibe thank you nix we really appreciate it mm. but we'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye. love you bye